All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Wahabrach Hakwadash, what Yahweh, it's the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name, and the Rakhakwadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach on the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And today I want to get into a lesson that's based on the ending of this movie, Leave the World Behind. And it's at the very end with this character, uh, Rose here, All right, the, the young girl that's in the movie. And she basically goes to the to a neighbor's house that's not you know far from the house that she's staying at and pretty much you know she bumps into you know the bunker that's there okay and while she's there you know she's eating you know ice cream drinking soda and she's pretty much relaxing and then she ends up you know watching the last episode of friends which that's a show that she likes right and, you know, as I'm watching this, you know, it made me think about how the Lord is going to make sure the elect is taken care of. All right. Because what I found funny about this movie or about this scene is how you had this, you know, doomsday prepper, you know, he built a whole, you know, bunker you know, in his basement, okay? You know, they had a kitchen, you know, a dining area, all right? You know, basically an endless supply of water, okay? You know, he had his, you know, computers, you know, that was getting information in. They had, you know, uh, radios, all right? You know, basically an endless supply of food. They even had a, a, a gym inside the, uh, inside that bunker, you know, what's, you know, what's so funny is that, you know, the, the little girl, she's the one that was able to enjoy the, uh, you know, the fruits of that man's labor. OK, she was the one that benefited off of everything. And that's basically what's going to happen, you know, for the elect. You know, all these, you know, preppers, you know, that are building bunkers or, you know, that are just, you know, stocking up on, you know, medicine water, you know, food, you know, rations, etc., right? A lot of uh, uh a lot of those you know, uh uh, 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 uh 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 storehouses basically or bunkers whatever you want to call it, the elect are, are the ones who are going to, you know, benefit off of it. They're, they're the ones who are going to use the supplies. All right? A lot of a lot of those people who are, you know, Storing these things, they're not even gonna, uh, you know, be at their house, okay, or be at their bunker sites, you know. Because look, the Lord's he he he's about to perform miracles for the elect, you know. They're they're gonna be, you know, uh, you know, bumping into like I said, you know, these bunkers, like you know the, you know, like the, uh, the ones that I showed you, you know, that's from the movie, all right. You know, you're going to have the Lord um, have animals assist us, you know, just, uh, um, you know, like what happened to the prophet Elijah. You know, he had ravens feed him, you know, and also for the, you know, the prophet Elijah, what the Lord did for him and, uh, uh, and this widow is they had basically an endless supply of oil and, and, and flour, all right? So they were able to make... You know, just little basic cakes just to get them by during the, you know, the time of the, uh, of the famine. You know? You see? And the Lord's going to be doing that for us. You know, we're going to be living in those days where, you know, these miracles are about to, you know, uh, uh, over there. They're about to happen for us. Okay? Now, let me start off with this. This is Second Ezra 2 and 26. As for the servants whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish, for I will require them from among thy number. And that's talking about the elect. And you see the Lord, he's going to require us from this world, okay? You see? 
And I'll say this, before the Lord has those chariots save us, He's going to have basically, uh, you know, angels protect us in the, in, in the, uh, uh, the perilous times to come, okay? And He's going to allow us to, to eat, to drink, and to, 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 to have, okay? Not only just have, but have in abundance, as we're about to read, okay? This is uh, verse 27. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. You see, we're going to be merry and have abundance. We're not going to be weeping. We're not going to be sorrowful. See, the, the Lord, he's about to do a thing called, you know, a role reversal. All right. See, right now, we're suffering. You know, we're we're dealing with the afflictions. You know, we're dealing with all the the, the curses. But eventually, we're gonna um be the ones on top. We're gonna be the ones that are gonna have the blessings. Okay. While this whole world is gonna have to deal with their punishment. See, we're about to get the reward of a righteous servant. Okay, which is protection. Which is salvation, you know. Us being okay in the in the times to come. See, these people, they're about to receive the reward of the wicked. Hey, what did the scripture say? Um, horrible is the end of an unrighteous generation. You see, you got to remember, we're living in that unrighteous generation right now, where. Everybody is pretty much an uh, uh, idolater and an adulterer. These people murder. Okay, they steal. You know, so on and so forth. They do all sorts of wicked acts, vile acts. So they're about to receive their judgment, which is re their reward, which is going to be destruction. See? But for us, we're going to be good. And that's because we've been, you know, repenting. We've been, you know, teaching. We, we, we've been doing all, all sorts of, you know, righteous works. So the Lord's going to remember these things. All right. Let me keep reading. This is 2nd Ezra 2 and 28. The heathen shall envy thee, but, that, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, saith the Lord. See, they're not going to be able to do anything against thee. We're going to be, you know, winning. We're going to be good. While well, these guys are going to be taking big L's. And they're going to be, you know, wishing that they were in our place, but it's too late. You know? They, they, they this is their, you know, t t time of punishment. All right? See, it's, it's time for the servants of Yahweh Bashim al to win. You know? That's the time that we're living in. All right. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 65, verse 13. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, and ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Okay? And let me keep reading. Behold, my servants shall sing... Or for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. And this is what's coming. The wicked, they're about to, they're about to be punished. They're about to suffer. See, in this society that we live in right now, you know, if you decide to, you know, you know, commit, you know, sodomite, you know, you know, act, if you decide to be a sodomite, I'm just going to say it like that, you're going to get promoted. You know, hey, look, if you're, you know, an NBA star like LeBron James, all right, Shaquille O'Neal, if you decide to wear a dress, all of a sudden you're going to have a bunch of uh, uh, sponsors and they're going to endorse you. You know, you're going to be on the progressive commercial, all right? You know, you're going to be on, you know, a... Uh, 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 a Burger King ad. You know what I'm saying? 
And if you're, you know, a musician, you decide to talk about adultery. You know, you, you, you oh, you're a rapper, and you decide to talk about, you know, doing drugs and and, and, and killing. Oh, you, you're about to, you know, have record deals. You're about to have, you know, a platinum album. You know, that that that's what happens when you know when you promote wickedness. You 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 end up getting rewarded in this society. But see, when Yahweh Bashim Al Shai unleashes, you know, you know, the wrath, you know, the judgment, these people are about to be they're about they're they're about to be in terrible conditions, man. It's about to get real nasty for them. But for, hey, for the servants of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, hey, well, we're we're about to well, we're about to be doing good, man. And then everyone's gonna want to get on the, you know, you know, on the team. <laughs> it was gonna be too late for them. All right, but let me get one last scripture. This is the book of Job. I think the fifth chapter. Let me see where I gotta start though. <clears throat> yeah, we'll start at nineteen. This is uh, Job nineteen, or Job five and nineteen. He he shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. In famine he shall redeem thee from death. And in war, from the power of the sword, thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. And you see, we're going to be good when all hell breaks loose, basically. Okay? We're going to be good. You know? The Lord's going to protect us, you know, from, uh, from famines, from warfare. Okay? Okay? From the, the, the destruction, you see? And this is the uh, the reward of a righteous servant. Let me keep breathing. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. You see, we're going to be laughing because we're going to understand that this is judgment of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. See, what does the scripture say? It talks about wisdom, knowledge, and understanding shall be the stability of thy times. See, we're going to understand that People, you know, dying from starvation, dying from dehydration, dying from, you know, uh, you know, warfare. That's that, that's the will of the Heavenly Father. See, the rest of these people, they're going to be as a chicken with their, you know, head cut off, running around in circles, not knowing what's going on. And they're going to lose it. You know, they're going to lose it. These people... You know, a lot of them are going to commit suicide. And that's because they're going to have no hope. See, when, you, when all hope is gone, it, it doesn't make you want to live. See, they put their eggs in this basket here in America. This, you know, system. So when, once this system collapses and falls apart, it, it, for, for them it's the end, you know? But see, for us, it's just the beginning. Because we understand that this system must collapse first in order for our system to, to, to you know, be established. For it to come up. You know, so that's why we're going to be happy when we see these things. You know? Then it's just going to be, you know, beautiful seeing those that, you know, came up against us. That fought against us, that you know, try to sabotage us, so on and so forth, and seeing them get their judgment, it's gonna make us laugh, and we're gonna be happy about it. Finally, hey, the, the 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 wicked is getting punished, you know. But let me keep reading. As destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh; neither shall thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. And because well, let me keep reading. For thou shalt be in league. With the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with, with thee. And you see, the Lord is going to put a spirit on these animals, okay, to protect us, guide us, possibly feed us. Who knows? Okay? Who knows? But look, I'll say this. Miracles are about to happen, and we're going to be good. All right? Like I said, hey, one of the main things that, that's going to happen for us is us. Going into houses, big mansions, 
finding bunkers like this, and we're going to have water, communication, kitchens, food, you know? Like I said, a lot of these places have, uh, you know, a bunch of medical supplies too. You might be injured. You know, you, have, you need to clean out a womb. And you, you stumble upon this, and next thing you know, you, you got the right medicine to, to, to take care of your womb. You know? It's beautiful, man. The Lord's going to do a lot of things for us. All right? But, you know, like I said, I was inspired to do this lesson by that movie. I was able to finally, you know, catch it. And there's so many things that you can do lessons on in that movie. But for some reason, the very end, you know, made me think about how we're, we're going to be benefiting off of these people's, you know, prepping. You know? But um, I'm going to end this lesson. You know, hopefully whoever was listening was edified. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto you. How about Shemuel al -Shai? Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom.